let's review the numbers in comparison to last week. So uh, last week we had 566 positive cases. We went up 125 cases to 691 as of today. And that's the highest increase that we've seen in a week since the COVID uh, started. Uh, we have uh, 178 active cases. This is down 14 from last week. We have 505 cases that have recovered. That's an increase of 136 cases from last week. Uh, we're standing still with three persons in the community that are hospitalized. And unfortunately, we had four more deaths in the last week. We went from four deaths up to eight. Uh, the negative test count has increased by 1,672 to a total of 20,660 tests. And the percentage of uh, positive tests, the total test, went up about a third of a percentage point from 2.89 to 3.2. Sheboygan County public health officials released the Sheboygan County Safe Restart Recommendation Plan to reopen that included strong controls for businesses and residents. We continue to be in phase two of that plan, which says that businesses, uh, as they open, need to follow the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation's best practices and sanctions specific to their sector. The Mead Library and other city buildings, including City Hall, have instituted a mandatory mask policy to enter public areas of these city buildings. Maps will be provided at the entrances if needed. Now, last Friday, Governor Evers declared a public health emergency and signed emergency order number one relating to prevailing, preventing rather the spread of COVID-19 by requiring them wearing a mask at indoor and outdoor public spaces where people congregate. Sheboygan County law enforcement agencies, including the Sheboygan Police Department, will utilize this order as an educational tool. And they're asking citizens and visitors of the county to voluntarily comply with this order. As the COVID-19 numbers have dramatically increased, the food truck gathering that has taken place at Valdreth Park and is an event where little social distancing had taken place and caused concerns. The vendors have approved a plan on how they could address the lack of social distancing at this gathering to make it safer. The food truck vendors uh, have agreed to changes to make this popular event safer for those attending. Their plan includes uh, vendor staff uh, that have direct contact with food preparation and customers will be masked. Signs and cones or markers at order lines to set up six feet apart at each truck to encourage social distancing. Each truck should post instructions on when to return for pickup to discourage people gathering, uh, waiting for their order to be done. And hand sanitizer should be available at each truck. It was also welcome to see many of our commercial businesses in the community taking action to require masks while shoppers conduct business at their facilities. It's good to see that they recognize the role they can play to help protect the health and well-being of the community they serve by following the evolving guidance of health officials. So remember to wear your mask, slow the spread of coronavirus in Sheboygan.